So today idea how to create a simple slider for photo geometry. So let's get started. Okay, so what we will need to have to this project? Probably step motor. I have one step motor here with a controller. It's a controller for Arduino board. You can get this one on eBay really easily, just type it step motor Arduino. Also a box. Uh, they are unnecessary. And also you need to have um, Arduino. This one is occupied right now, so I will just move it around. Yeah, just take one fresh. Okay, so you do need to have Arduino, step motor. It's good to have a display as well. I don't know, do I have any display here? Uh, mm, on the other display. This one is actually uh, 16 by 2 probably with I2C driver. Uh, this is the most really necessary thing which you want to have if you're dealing with Arduino because you don't have to connect all of these pins, you just have to connect four cables 2 to power and 2 to analog pin A4 and probably A5. Is it that correct? Yes, is this correct? Yeah, this one is data locker shield, which will be probably unnecessary in this project. But let's get started. But first, simply bought something like that. Select is pretty good, pretty good. Um, what I can say about this? Buy it, and it looks like that. There is not really dusty one, but let's keep going to project. First, let's start with drilling the hole in this little container to get a returning table, or turn table. So, I just attach this one through the egg shape uh, plastic. And right now, as you can see, this one will be... Okay. Now, you just have to fit it into the box, connect all the cables, and let's go to software. In this scenario, I will attach the motor through the duct tape, because I don't possess any screws right now. And that's just one day project idea. Here will be a turntable, probably I will put the cardboard on it and I will attach cardboard to this because this one is really outstanding. So you can see it's it's not really straight. No. But if I will put the cardboard on it, it will be perfect. So here we have the Arduino Uno as a basic board from China, controller, uh, screen and soldering iron. All Okay, so one switch is actually soldered already, uh, where I put that thing, here. Okay, so there is a data pin, and there is a plus and minus. Just always remember to put a resistor. The step motor controller is fully soldered. As you can see, they are just pins for digital outputs, one, two, three, four, or whatever pins we'll assign it to. We'll see in the code. And this one is a pins for plus, minus for power supply. I'm gonna probably power supply this motor from another power supply to make sure that my board will survive this. And also we connect that uh, I2C board to the Arduino Uno. That looks like functioning anyway. right now. There's no code to operate it, so it does nothing yet. But we're gonna try to tell this little device Actually, we're gonna see if, if that's the issue or not. And the idea will be when you press one button, it will start to turning. And when you press the other button, it will switch the mode. So to be like three modes: 360, 260, fast, slow, and everything will be controlled through this 16 by 2 display. And let's go to code. Hey guys, so with that simple code. Uh, with that simple code, our micro slider is working. I don't know how much of uh, it's working, and it should be working, but it's probably a little bit too fast, so I will have to like decrease it mousefully. And the idea is, you know, to get a 360, to get like a 360 view, do the picture from each side, and afterwards you can like prepare mini photo geometry studio. Probably if I will like order another step motor I will be able to position camera in three different spots 
but that will also require another step motor so right now we're gonna try to display all of the details of this one inside our display and also make it a little bit controllable because right now is you know like just making nice sounds you can listen okay so right now we have to figure out how many how much steps we need to get our 360 motor to done 360 so first I will figure out how many steps I need to get from this point to this point and when I figure out now that it's less than 150 so it's actually 125 let's try 100 and let's see what's happened when we upload the code okay so it's a little bit more 125 probably cable and it's randomly changing the one to zeros one to zeros it should works like that but only when I press the button but when I press the button nothing is changing so I have to figure out what's happening there okay guys so that's the actual code and I will forward the link to the right library where I found this I was actually looking for this our entire day and it's working perfectly maybe there is no physical button yet I had some troubles with buttons but at least our turning device is working perfectly so if we for example put 90 degree as you can see here step motor move degree control croc counter clockwise 90 degree and I just click upload and let's see what's happened yes 90 degree perfect to 90 degree and that's actually amazing because it's 90 degree <laughs> so right now I am able to do some photo geometry stuff so I just reprogram it to move each like 15 seconds so the camera will be able to take a picture and also probably we will need some kind of shutter release for this one for Nikon camera uh, it's probably easy but I don't have a cable right now and you need to have one resistor everything is in, in internet just research research and learn that's it so main idea is there is a camera and there is a turntable so each time the stepper just move I just making a photo let's see how that's gonna work In the future probably that will be you know automatically done so the cable will just come to the camera and each time the turn is made the shutter button release will be uh, pressed by the Arduino board so we'll don't have to you know doing the stuff like that <laughs> like it's good it's good you know because you you have a control but it's not the same when it's fully automatic automated but right now it's this looks okay and it's giving you always the count like it's just counting you know the seconds between each turn but that just like a gadget more like a gadget more just to display some information instead of you know just getting different information from like comport or so and you see oh the photos are perfectly smooth and you know just don't like we want to usually two angles, two angles, as many angles as possible that's as good for photo geometry okay so that's basically it uh, our project looks like a box with a cardboard on the top and it's working that's the most important thing okay another thing maybe next day or maybe after week after month we'll see see you next time and remember there is never a good time to do something, just do it.
just take whatever need to be done and do it that's it okay guys thanks for watching me and as always leave a sub or comment or just you know ask some question i will try to answer all of them as soon as possible and see you in the next episode of making a turntable next time maybe with 3d printer